hello friends welcome back to Django tutorial so let's continue and uh, let's start a project now how can we start a new project using Django so let me uh, quickly get out from this I think a little better okay now I have already created one folder that is demo but I'm going to remove that and okay sorry okay now there is one command that is django admin okay so which is uh, which will be available in linux operating system when you install any django because that and that uh, scripts where uh, let me show that also version 2.6 then scripts this path will be set in uh, path variables automatically when you install django not when you install Django, but itself when you create a virtual environment itself, right? So here also it might be available like this Django admin. Yeah, so it is available. That means whenever you uh, create any virtual environment, that environment script folder for Windows and bean folder for Linux will be added as a path into the Python path. So whenever you uh, sorry not python path normal path so when you can uh, use all the binaries available inside from the scripts uh, folder and for linux from the bean folder so how many uh, available let me show you that scripts okay and then D, okay so these many binaries are available activate bad ps script then python script bad deactivate script right so django admin so all these scripts can be used directly from this without using any path right without changing the directory to that particular path okay so that was uh, one thing now i can use that right so django admin and if you do not pass any argument it will show you all the available commands second argument right so we have start project and start app. so mostly we will use these two because other uh, other also we will use but using a different way i will show you that so start project and the project name demo but instead of demo what i will give okay let me give demo itself for now like this so demo folder is already there because i created that demo so let me uh, quickly goes inside this demo folder it will not take time actually when you uh, fire this command and what it will does uh, it will uh, it will it will does create uh, one folder in which you will have the structure of all the project so this demo folder is there right okay what happened let me remove this still demo is there okay let me remove from here okay and let me create project again okay now it's available now it let me refresh this okay so this uh, demo when when we create this demo it will create one directly demo inside that your whole project code will be available this is called your project directory in that project directory you will have one default tab that is called demo and inside the demo you will have all the configurations available for this project basic directory secret key install apps middleware so all these uh, settings or you can say configurations we will understand one by one uh, while, while uh, proceeding with the project okay and this is manage.py uh, which is again whatever does uh, that django admin the same functionality uh, will be provided by this manage.py with extended with extended functionality like you can create your own custom commands right so those commands also can be accessed through manage.py so how can we do that let me show you that python manage.py and then if you uh, if you want help then help is itself is a command for manage.py 
so it will show you all the help uh, all the commands available so look at this available sub commands you can say right so for authentication there are two variables are available two commands are available that is change password and create super user content types for django so these are default which you have already seen uh, through django admin right so these are also available in django admin as well if you want to see that look at this this is for django admin right okay and these are other coming from apps like django session apps django static apps then django content type apps django auth apps if you want to see that here are these look at this these are the apps so from these apps these all, all command sub commands are coming okay so let's quickly uh, fire to command manage.py and migrate so we have already default apps are installed like django admin authentications so for authentication actually they have uh, given us uh, almost default uh, migration files which will be creating all the database tables and you can use them directly so python migration is then done so <coughs> sorry uh, then uh, just run the server there it is okay so server is run successfully and it says that which django version it has used that is 2.0.1 using settings demo.settings then uh, starting development server at this and quit the server with control break right so what we have just copy this and file here okay so this is the default html it is given by django so whenever you start new project this will be the default for you okay okay so this is how you can uh, create your project so we will have a uh, what i will do i will create one project and while doing project you will learn many things like models views urls okay so in future uh, there are many third party packages also we will learn in this web series so uh, stay with me uh, in this uh, whole series you will learn very good things okay so i will keep posting uh, videos for this uh, django web series so okay uh, this is for all you thank you very much uh, for watching this video and if you are like if you have liked this video please subscribe my channel okay and also press bell icon uh, to get notification of new videos uh, of this uh, django web series as well as other web series as well Okay, thank you.